guys. I'm Taylor. And I'm Mackenzie. And you're watching LSPN, Widen Sports Programming Network, brought to you by the Talon. As we approach the 2013 homecoming game, we wanted to start off by reflecting a little bit on the 2012 football season. It seemed as if Leiden's goal last year was breaking records and setting high standards. Much accomplished goal. Finishing the season with a 7-3 record and conference champions. Well achieved Leiden, but not too far behind was DGS. Although Leiden did beat them 27-21 last year, Dunham's girls still clinched second in conference. And let's note that they have won the past 26 out of the past 30 years. Looking forward to the 2013 season, it's been a bit of a rocky start, yet Lyon's not the only one struggling. Downer Grove is 0-2 to start off the season, but the varsity boys are hoping to turn things around for next week's homecoming game. We caught up with head coach Sarah Sani to see how he's prepared for this season and how the team has been preparing for this matchup. All right, coach, so let's get to know you a little. Um, did you play in college? I did. I played at the uh, University of Wisconsin for two years, and then I finished up at Indiana State. All right, and has that inspired you to be a coach? Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, my father was a, a football coach in high school. Um, he was my head coach, and uh, I've always been in a coaching family. Uh, my brother played football at the collegiate level at Notre Dame and Northwestern, um, and you know, I've never had a fall off. I've always played. I've always been around football. Um, coming off of a record-breaking season, what was your mindset going into this year? Well, we've got a lot of young guys playing this year, a lot of inexperienced guys. Um, so going into this year, we, we were cautiously optimistic. You know, we have a lot of kids that need to grow as players. Uh, the team needs to come together and gel. But uh, we think we've got a good core group here, and uh, we're hoping for good things by the end of the year. Um, what are some of your expectations you have for your team this year? Well, every year we expect to make the playoffs. Uh, we challenge the kids this year to go back-to-back in uh, winning the conference, and we think we have a good shot at that this year, uh, but only time will tell. Uh, what is one strength as a team you think you have? As a team, I think we're very athletic. Uh, we have a lot of kids that work hard, and uh, they're dedicated to what they do. Uh, you know, they've been practicing since, since June in summer camp, and uh, overall, I, I just think the level of commitment has been great. And what's your mindset going into next week's homecoming game? Well. We're going to beat Downers Grove. That's my mindset. We, you know, we go into every game thinking we're going to win. You know, homecoming is a big deal for the community and the school, but for us, it's just another football game. And our goal to, is to win every game. You know, we tell the kids, homecoming, there's a lot of other things going on. Our deal is to win the football game on Friday night, and that's that's what we're focused on. And you and the team, what do you hope to see? We just hope to see the continued support. You know, we get a ton of people at every game. We love it. We love to hear the crowd cheering, and hopefully we can give them something to cheer about. Well said, Coach. We look forward to seeing how things play out. I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say this will be the game to see. It'll be a four-quarter battle start to finish. Definitely. This could set the tone for the rest of both DGS and Lightning season. So don't get a sense of what our athletes were expecting. We ran into Frankie Gulo and Casper Pager in the weight room. Oh, hey, you're working out, too? Yeah, I'm out. Do you mind if we uh, answer some questions? No problem. All right. Uh, what nicknames? Do you have any nicknames on the team? Oh, uh, yeah. My, uh, they call me Casper because my mom can play some stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Um, how many years have you been playing at Lida? Uh, my third year. Cool. What position do you play? I play quarterback. What's the toughest part about being quarterback? Uh, making the right reads and getting the ball to where that's good. Do you have any like, weird superstitions on game day? Yeah, well, before game day, I really don't talk to anyone. It's kind of just the music and feel longer. Which one do you prefer? Leg day or upper body day? Definitely upper body day. What's your favorite here by the cheerleaders? Oh, uh, the one that goes like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know. Demonstrate it. You know it. You, you know it. You got it. Demonstrate it. They like to do the. Good, now we're good. Okay, okay. And your uh, favorite NFL player? Uh, probably Jake Miller. Okay, cool. Why is that? I just feel like I'm not working. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Probably like 45 seconds. Wow, okay, that's impressive. Yeah, shower and get out of my day. Wow. What's your favorite brand of athletic gear? Nike. Clearly. Most cool thing about football? Um, Probably getting up after a big hit. 
Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. Oh, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! Frankie. Oh. Mind if we ask you a few questions? Yeah. Super. What's up? All right. What position do you play? I play fullback in nose guard. How many years have you played for like football? Four years. Do you have any like nicknames? Uh, Ranko. Why? Uh, Mr. Crypal gave me the name. Oh, did he? Yeah. What's your uh, jersey number? Number 30. Why? Uh, we losing the whole family, so I just took it. What's your favorite Gatorade flavor? Blue. How come? Just tastes awesome. Yeah. Maybe describe yeah. like one of your most embarrassing moments on the field. Oh, when I went to go catch a touchdown last year, I fell in the end zone. Whoa. And nobody touched me. <laughs> yeah. What's your greatest accomplishment this year, or in high school in general? Uh, last year we won conference, so that was awesome. It didn't happen in like 32 years. Wow. Well, well done. Nice yeah. job. What motto do you have that inspires you on the field? Just do it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Nike. What's your favorite NFL team? Uh, the Chicago Bears. How much do you bet? 275. Yeah. Do you have any weird game day rituals? No. No, you just just go? Just, just do, do it. it. Just, just do, do it. it. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. All right, final question so we don't interrupt the rest of your uh, lift, but uh, how's football impacted your life? Well, it just made me work harder in school and on the field and just work out. Awesome. Thanks so much, Frankie. You're the best. All right, guys. What are you and the team expecting from the Lion community on this game night? Uh, hoping to see everyone at the games, cheering, going nuts in the stands, having the time. Yeah, everyone has to be there. Be square. Well, thanks, guys. You heard it from us first. Looks like it's going to be an exciting homecoming game filled with Lion pride. The varsity game begins at 7.30 at West. For up-to-the-minute coverage, make sure to follow us on Twitter, at Lion and Talon. And to see full interviews and reports, make sure to visit our website, lhsnews.org. From all of us at the town, thanks guys. Hope to see you there. Sending it back to you guys.